Welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Angeline and for today's practice, all you need is your mat and yourself. Before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you can get notified when I release a new video and click above to be added to the Kinesi community newsletter for more creative vinyasa flow, yoga classes, workshops, teacher trainings and retreats. Now roll out your mat and let's get flowing. Hello and welcome to practice. This is a 20 minute stretch out after a flight flow. So I'm sure we've all been on a long flight and we probably feel really like cramped, like we're little balls. So we are going to stretch it out. And this was a request. So thank you for the request, Samantha. We are going to focus more on hips because as you know, in a seat, in the airplane, you are flexed pretty much the whole time in that seated position. You can practice this at your hotel when you get home after your flight or even at the airport. So just know anywhere works. <laughs> we will start at the top of our mats, come into a mountain pose, turn the palms forward and roll the shoulders up and back. Let's do that two more times, up and back. Last one, up and back and then sweep those arms up towards the sky. Then interlock the hands behind you, squeeze the palms together, Bend your elbows. So slide the fists up the back and draw the elbows back. Pause here. Zip the belly in, squeeze the inner thigh. So the other thing I feel like when we're seated in a chair for so long, especially in the airplane, if you're next to somebody who might take a little more space, then you might even roll the shoulders down a little bit. So let's open up that heart space. Let's open up shoulders. Re-extend the arms up towards the sky. Bring the hands to heart center. Rest your arms by your sides. Now take your shoulders, roll them forward for two. Last one, three. And then arms go nice and high. Stretch out the body. Take the gaze up. Interlock your hands behind you one more time. Opposite grip this time. Squeeze the palms, bend the elbows. Slide the fist up and draw the elbows back. Open through heart, strong through legs. Take a generous breath in. And a breath out, release the arms, take the gaze up, sweep the arms overhead, fold forward, bring your hands to the ground, step the right foot back, lower the back knee down to the mat, point the toes and let's go in and out of your half split and your low lunge with the hands on the ground. So we're kind of flossing the hip out right now stretching through the hamstring of the front leg and the hip flexor of the back leg. That should feel pretty good. The next time that your front knee is bent, pause there. Let the hips really melt. Then slide your hand to your front knee, and lift yourself up for the low lunge. Use their hands on your leg as a little resistance point. So press the thigh away, lift the heart and turn the gaze up as you melt the hips down. Let's release the hands down to the ground, tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Now straighten out the front leg, lift the hips, re-bend the front knee. Again, straighten and bend. Keep doing this movement. Of course, if you need props under your hands, like two blocks, add them, or your suitcase if you're at the airport. And let's step it forward to the top of the mat. Step your left foot back now. Lower the knee, thigh to the ground. Keep the hands on the mat for support. Point your back toes. Straighten out the front leg for that half split. Then re-bend the front knee, low lunge. Moving into and alternating the stretch to the front of the back leg and the back of the front leg. Just a few more times. Nice active breath. Let's come back to the front, slide your hands on your front thigh, press your thigh away as you lean the chest back, hips move forward, chest lifts up, gaze even can lift up and you're really pressing the thigh away. You should feel that move down your quadriceps a bit too. Release the hands to the ground, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, straighten the front leg, hips go high, rebound the knee, hips press down. Again, a few times, so nice repetition. I feel like repetition feels really good. 
especially when we've been seated for long periods of time in the airplane. And we'll gently step it to the top of the mat. Come into a forward fold now. If you need to, bend your knees a lot, but let's clasp opposite elbows for ragdoll. Really buoyant through the upper body, maybe little bounces, maybe little sweep side to side. Feel that side body. And slowly release your hands down to the ground. Tuck your chin to your chest and round up your spine. Come all the way up to stand. Once you're standing, arms up towards the sky. Lift the right knee and plant your right foot to the outside of your left. So you're crisscrossing your legs. Once the legs are crisscrossed, right hand to your right hip. Stretch over to the right. Lean the hips to the left as you reach the top arm overhead. Breathe into that left side. Bring it back up to neutral. Bring your left hand to your hip now and reach with the right arm. Press the hips to the right. If this hand on the hip feels like it's constraining your stretch, you can always slide it down the leg and get a little deeper. Bring it back to neutral. Both arms reach up. Then very gently fold forward. A slight bend into the knees is a great addition to this pose. As you come down into your fold, shake your head out. No, yes, really getting into those outer hips. Tuck the chin to the chest. Press down through your feet as you rise up to stand. Step the right foot next to the left, both arms high. Extend your mountain pose. Stretch out tall. Bring your hands to heart center as you lift your left knee. Crisscross your left foot in front of your right. Then re-sweep those arms up towards the sky. Bring your left hand to your hip. Stretch it to the left with that right arm. Counter it by pressing the hips to the right. So the more we reach to the left, the more the hips move right. Bring it back to center. Both arms reach up together. Then switch sides. Right hand to your hip. Left arm up and over. Press the hips the opposite direction. And maybe let that right arm slide down the right leg. Back to neutral. Both arms up. Very gently release the hands down towards the ground. Generous bend in the knees if you need it. Once you're settled in, you can straighten the legs, really get into the outer hips. We'll notice where your weight is in your feet. If it's in your heels, you won't get the stretch as much. So try to get that weight forward and let the torso be very heavy. Tuck the chin to the chest, round up the spine. Step the right, left foot next to the right, reach the arms high, extend a mountain pose. Come into forward fold, folding at the hip crease. Open the feet wide, heels in, toes out. Our good old malasana, yogi squat, hands to heart. Drive the weight into the outer edges of the feet. Use those elbows to open the knees wide. Breathe. And I always love to rock my weight, especially when I'm really trying to get into the hips and kind of all layers of the hips. So if you'd like, start to shift your weight into your left foot, then your right foot, and you can even let your torso sway. Maybe you let the hands just drop on the ground, but rock that weight, left, right, right, left. And then come back to our forward fold, hips high, legs straight, and heel toe the feet together. Step your feet back to your plank pose. Lower the knees down for a tabletop. Adjust your hands and your knees. Cow as you inhale. Cat, exhale. Neutral spine, extend the right leg back. Step the right foot to the outside of your right hand for lizard, hips forward. Hands on the mat for supports. 
squeeze your left heel, your back heel towards your booty, then re-extend the leg. So without the hands first, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Now keep the left hand down, right hand reaches back as you bend the knee. Maybe you hook the foot and hug the heel towards the booty. If you need a strap, of course, please grab a strap. If you'd like to flow it out, we're going to flow it. Otherwise, you can sustain it and hold. So as you inhale, kick the foot away from you. Lift the heart. Gaze goes up. As you exhale, draw the foot towards you. Tuck your chin. Look down. Inhale to kick away. Open. Exhale. Draw it in. Last one. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Draw it in. Release the foot now. Bring your right hand down. Right foot steps back, knee steps back, and lower all the way to your belly. Cobra pose. Inhale. Right ear to the ground. Exhale. Right arm reaches out. Let's take our shoulder stretch to the right. You can keep the knees bent, the leg straight, or bend the top leg if you'd like. This top arm, left arm can go up. It can stay down. Work in a half bind. Breathing into that right shoulder. And slowly lowering it back to your belly. Plant your palms on the mat. Gaze down. Tuck your toes. Lift up to modified plank or plank pose into downward facing dog. Once in down dog, bend one knee, bend the other, walk it out. Send the right leg high, bend the knee, scorpion, squeeze the heel towards the booty as you point the knee up towards the sky. Keep the arms nice and straight, arm, underarms pointing down, and belly still hugs in, so we're taking that tilt out of the pelvis. Restraighten the right leg. Step the foot between the palms. Let's come up to crescent lunge. Take the arms overhead. Then open up to warrior two. From warrior two, straighten the right leg. Bump the pelvis back. Triangle pose. So great way to stretch out through the sides of the body, through the under leg and the outer hip. Reverse Triangle. Keep the legs straight. Bump the hips forward now. Right arm up towards the sky. It's a nice little stretch out. And we'll make our way into wide-legged forward fold. So pivot the right toe so they match the left. Bring the hands down to the ground. Head drops heavy. Shake out the head. No. Nod the head. Yes. Maybe even bend and straighten the legs a few times. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Come into tabletop. So knees down, hands under the shoulders. Cow pose, inhale. Cat, exhale. Back to neutral. Extend your left leg long. Step the foot to the outside of the left hand. Coming into lizard, hips melt towards the ground. Working the strength of the back leg first without your hand. Squeeze the heel towards the booty. Then straighten the leg long. Again, heel in and extend. Last one in and extend. Now transfer your weight to your right hand. Send your left arm behind you. Grab a hold of that foot. Squeeze the heel. So you can sustain this or if you'd like that little flow we did, we'll add that here. So we'll take three rounds. As you inhale, kick the foot back. Open the heart. Gaze up. Exhale, pull the heel in. Tuck your chin around your spine. Inhale, broaden, kick back, open. Exhale, round, squeeze it in. Last one, inhale. And exhale. We'll all gently release the foot down. Bring your left hand to the mat. Slide that left knee back. Lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Float the chest up. Exhale as you lower left ear to the ground and left arm out to a T. Then transfer all your weight to your left for your shoulder stretch. Any lower body variation, any 
top arm variation. Breathe here. Gently unwind back to your belly. We press up through a low plank, excuse me, a modified plank or traditional plank, back into our down dog, and you'll go right into your walking the dog out, bending one knee and then the other. Directly into our left leg high, scorpion. Bend the knee, squeeze the heel towards the booty as you point the knee up towards the sky. Spiral that right inner thigh forward also, so you're countering the stretch. Restraighten the left leg, step the foot between the palms, rise up, crescent lunge, nice deep breath in, warrior two on the out, straighten the front leg, triangle pose, hips back, tilt the torso, roll the right shoulder, squeeze those legs, feel that beautiful stretch through both legs, you'll feel it in a little bit different areas, which is fantastic. And let's reverse this. Legs stay straight. Hips move forward now. Top arm overhead. Pivot your left toes to meet your right. Hands down to the ground. Wide-legged forward fold. You can bring your feet closer if you'd like. Shake out your head no. I love bending my knees here. So you can bend and straighten the legs a few times. Or just hang out for just a moment longer. And let's walk our hands to the front. Step it back. This time to plank. Through one vinyasa of our practice. Full vinyasa, that is. Me in down dog. Take your gaze towards your hands. You can step, walk, or hop your feet forward. Bend your knees deeply. Bring your bottom down to the ground. And lie onto your back. Lying down on your back, long body stretch. Point your toes, reach your fingers. Let's take C curve to the right. So move your feet to the right and your arms to the right. And you can hold on to the left hand or wrist with the right hand. And then you can cross your left leg over your right also. And just keep reaching to the right side of the room with your arms and your legs. Let's bring it back through center and over to the left. So the legs move to the left. Then the arms, shoulders also move to the left. You can use your left hand to grab your right wrist and hook your right foot over. But our intention is to keep moving the body in this kind of banana shape, C shape. And rather than letting your hip come up, can you draw your hip down more? Let's bring it back to neutral. Rest your arms by your sides. Bring your knees into your chest. We're going for one more hip, um, hip flexor and quad stretch. So keep your left knee where it is so it's out of the way. Take your left hand and grab your right foot. Then slide that foot towards the booty cheek, the left butt cheek that is, and let the right knee draw it down. You should automatically feel this stretch to the right leg. If you like a little more restorative version, straighten the left leg over it. If you want more of an active version, hug that knee in with the right hand. But our intention here is to really guide the right knee down as much as possible towards the ground so you can really feel that stretch. Let us very gently release, straighten out both legs long, shake out the hips if you'd like, and reset for a second side. So hug your knees into your chest. This time, keep your right knee in, right hand towards your left foot, drive the heel towards the right booty, let the knee drop down. Remember, restorative, 
more of a restorative version, right leg straight, more of an active version, right knee pulls in, but ultimately our focus is on that left knee. So it starts to pop up, then reset your version. We're here for about three cycles of breath. Let's slowly release the legs nice and long. Arms by your sides, palms up, close the eyes. Release control of breath, of body, and just be for a few moments. Reap all the benefits of our 20 minute practice. And when it's time, I'll guide you out. Begin to awaken the body. Take that long body stretch. Hug the knees into your chest. Rock forward and back or side to side. But either way, make yourself up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Rub your palms. Place the warmth of the left hand on the heart, right on top of the left. Bow the chin in gratitude for this body, for this time on our mat to stretch out our body after a long or even not long but just uncomfortable flight i want to thank you all and until next time thank you so much for flowing with me today put any future requests and comments below as i would love to know how much you enjoyed this class this practice if you're interested in longer form ad free videos be sure to click here to access three long form videos for free just for my YouTube subscribers. Otherwise, if you want more flow with me on YouTube, click right here. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.